So we're here with Robbie Babawi. What's your channel name, Robbie? Uh, Mindful Diabetic Robbie. I'll put down a link below. So tell us about your type one diabetic. Yep. And you get most of your vegan, raw food, fruits, fruits, etc. You get most of your calories from fruit, sweet fruits. That's right. But and how does that help your I've health? I've been doing this since December 2006, eating fruits and vegetables, whole food, low fat, plant based, 100% vegan. Yep. And. I've never had an A1C above 6.2. Uh, I had a lot of 5.9 A1Cs over the years. My recent one was 6.2. And I eat well over about 700 grams of carbs a day. And my insulin usage on a total is about 40 units per day, which is very good for insulin sensitivity. We got other people out there recommending to not eat more than 50 grams of carbs a day. And to me, that, that's crazy. Like, I respect those people, like the people who are trying their best to do what they can to manage their diabetes and following the information that they're getting and the discipline to try and do that and not go to McDonald's or something. But that's cool. I respect that. But. The idea of eating that limited amount of carbs to me is crazy. No energy. No yeah. energy. My, I mean, my salad of lettuce, tomatoes, and peppers, just those three ingredients, would be more than 30 grams of carbs a day, which is what you exceed what, they're, what those people are recommending. So I, I just, this lifestyle, I always tell people for type 1 diabetics, you get incredible insulin sensitivity, plus you get all the benefits of eating a low fat vegan lifestyle, which is more energy, clear skin, you're just a happier person, all that stuff. And for type two diabetics, there's no benefit that you could possibly get from doing low carb that you can't get from being high carb. You will lose weight, you will get rid of your meds, you get rid of diabetes. Have you seen type two diabetics get off insulin? Absolutely, yeah. definitely. As long as their C-peptide level is showing that they're producing enough insulin. Yeah. They've had it for so, so long that they've completely damaged their pancreas, that in that case you're more like a type 1 at that point. But if there's still insulin production and you change your diet, the insulin's going to start working properly. So in your experience and opinion, it is curable type 2 in that situation? Absolutely. I agree with Dr. McDougall. 100% type 2 diabetes can be reversed with a low-fat plant-based diet 100% of the time. The only situation where it can't happen is if you damage your pancreas so much that you're not producing your own yeah. insulin. At that point, you're either a type 1 and a half or type 1. But my doctor said it's not curable. <laughs> your doctor doesn't know the information. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man, so I'll put your link down below. One more information from Robbie. You can hear my channel. Thanks, Thanks Robbie. Charlie.